Yo, what's up, Swag Gang? You already know what time it is, man. It's your boy, Kyle, aka KL Swag. Back here with a video, man. Look, man, I normally do not react to stuff like this, bro. Uh, as you guys see the title right now, man. Uh, what Sienna May did to me, bro. This is Jack Wright, bro. I'm not gonna lie, you guys, man. Um, I'm like, what is really going on, you know? Everybody has been talking about this, especially on TikTok. I do have a TikTok's case where I react, man. If you guys want to um, go to my TikTok, bro, I really don't post TikTok um, like that, bro. Uh, I will start getting back into it or whatever like that. But, um, you guys, man, this is Jack Ryan, man. I guess exposing Sienna May, bro, you know, sexual assault and stuff like that, man. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie, man. You know, I'm going to put my little, you know, input in, in it, bro. And, you know, see what he really talking about as well, bro. Um, this is like a big topic man, that's going on right now, man. This is crazy, bro. Because um, sexual assault is not cool, bro. Like, it's not cool. Like, it's, it's really not cool, man. You always got to make sure you get a consent from um, that female or that guy or whatever like that, man. Both both is wrong, bro. The man doing it or a woman doing it, man. But yeah, man, let's get into it, bro. Let's get into it. I've sat, I've sat down, down many, many times, times trying to do this. It's been very hard. I want to start off by saying, I just want to say thank you guys so much for your support and for giving me time. I wanted to share what I went through with Sienna and my side of the story. This all started when my friend came out with a tweet because um, he was worried about me. He actually witnessed a bunch of times what, what Sienna did to me. me. After, After this tweet, tweet their, their family, family reached out to our family. family, told Mason to take down his tweet, and he did. We wanted to settle it offline. Our families and our lawyers got together. My statement was confirming the tweet. It was the truth, and basically we're handling it offline now. Sienna posted her own version of the statement and said she was going to handle it offline. After that, she basically posted an eight-minute video invalidating my feelings, saying untrue stuff about me, about my okay. friend and my brother. I think the most hurtful thing is that what she did to me, she said it was untrue. Uh, that hurt a lot. After that video, another one of Ew. my friends came out with the video when I was at a party, like passed out on the couch. When they told me about what happened. Oh shit, so basically, basically he was passed out on a couch. Oh, I guess one of the friends posted him on TikTok. I guess she was touching on him and um, kissing on him and stuff, which is totally wrong, bro. You, you know. You, like, I don't care who it is, bro. You a female, man, bro. You don't do nothing like that, bro. You can't be doing that, bro. Look, the dude is damn near knocked out, bro. I don't know what it is. I don't drink. I do none of that None of that crazy stuff, bro. Obviously, he probably was drinking or whatever. Um, and, you know, just went to sleep. I mean, that's basically how it is, bro. When you drink and stuff like that, you, you know, you go to sleep, basically. I guess she was on him and probably kissing on him and stuff and... I don't know. God know what else. And, uh, they said they pulled her off of me. My twin, a friend, and another friend got an argument with Sienna saying, you can't do that. Jack doesn't like you like that. Damn. That night she posted a 15-part aggressive <coughs> video gaslighting everything about what happened, how much she loved me, and that I was using her for clout, which was all lies. It was typical Damn. gaslighting to a victim. It was, why didn't you stop hanging out with me? Why didn't you tell me in the first place? Someone who explained it perfectly is this guy on TikTok. TikTok. He posted a video, video. And it was, he explained like, he explained like, oh, man, he's crying, bro. He explained everything perfectly. Damn. 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 Man, crying, bro. It's crazy. Trauma. You have, you have to process, process. Sometimes, sometimes you have to you process, process it alone because an entire society is against you as a man. See, and I've watched the video exactly of what happened, the video evidence that I've seen over and over and over again, and you say his hand moves. His hand moves because it falls off of his friend's back. Your hand is on his crotch. It is not on his upper thigh. He was yeah. unconscious. You did a bad thing, and I know you're trying to write it in every way you can because of the account that you have and the following that you have and the life that you're currently living, but I need you to just do us all a favor and admit what you did was wrong. I don't care how touchy-feely your relationship was prior to or after that moment, but just know that he did not speak up and he did not act any different because he knew a society would be against him as it is. 
And now that everybody's seen the truth, you've just attacked in a way that is supposed to be an apology or a righting the wrong. What you're doing is manipulating right now. Any sane person knows that they wouldn't have to go on multiple platforms to post something like this, and they wouldn't be getting angry in the videos that are supposed to be addressing and apologizing. I know you've got a lot to lose, and I know you've got a lot to live for, but here's the truth. You getting worked up because people are trying to get the truth out of you does not make it right to get shitty in a video. Just know that the truth will prevail, and your bullshit lies will come out. Damn. I think his video was one of the reasons why I was um, okay and was able to not come out with like an aggressive statement like her i was able just to, Damn. i knew the truth i knew what she did to me sienna and i met four years ago in high school she was dating my good friend um and basically it did not turn out well she cheated on him two times. Oh, <laughs> man so she for the streets oh man Ah, I had to get a little sip of that. I usually drink the Fiji water, but this is this good old smart water. Man. So she trying to go to the friend? She trying to go to the friend now? Huh? Oh, and she cheated on homie? Oh, man. I know what type of girl she is. That's crazy. And it kind of like created this whole problem in my friend group. I'm not the type of guy that's all for like second chances with people. And that's um, true, I bro. try to see the good in people. I was in the Hype House. I was going back and forth from L.A. And Sienna had just gone viral on a couple videos. She reached out to me and basically asked if I want to do an interview with her in L.A. And I said, of course. We hung out, reconnected. Um, I showed her around the Hype House, introduced her to all my friends. And um, I was happy for her. And we just had fun hanging out. I just want to clarify that we both knew that we were just friends. She was seeing and talking to other guys in LA all the time. And I I just thought of her as a good friend. We were making videos, we were making dance friends, we had fun. Okay. It was just strictly friends, and we both knew that. At this point, nothing inappropriate. So basically just working together, like some chill, you know, something chill, man. You know, something chill, man, just you and the girl vibing, you know, doing videos, working, making that bread. You know what I'm talking about. You doing stuff on her little TikTok. You know, she doing something on your TikTok. And y'all just, you know, uh, yeah, yeah, huh, yeah, uh, 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 yeah, uh, the TikTok dances. Uh, 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 you know, you know, you know, just vibing, man, J Jack. I'm getting you, dog. Keep going. Real was happening between us. We were just friends. Everything was fine. This next part of the video is very difficult for me to talk about. I haven't oh, really talked about it for a long time. So the first incident where Sienna crossed boundaries, it was after filming. We went into the room. Um, I was just chilling on my phone on the bed, and she got naked, like completely naked. She tried to get you. Oh, she tried to get you, Jack. Oh, she wanted that man, bro. She took off her clothes? And straddled me when I was literally just chilling in the bed. But I didn't know what to do in like the situation because it was just, like random and weird. Quickly told her and she had to get off. We are just friends. Stop. They're trying to make out with me. You're like You're just like doing a bunch of things. Man, my dog said, look, man, I don't want you like that, dog. I don't, I don't want you. Like, I ain't even trying to do that with you. It just, tell, you know, we just working together, man. Just a little collab, man. A little videos, man. I ain't even trying to be with you like that, man. We cool. Well, put back on your clothes, girl. He basically, I don't want you. Put back on your clothes. Damn, bruh. To me. And... Yeah. I kept on saying, Sienna, stop, get off. I, I, like, I didn't want to, like, be, like, aggressive. I didn't want to... Yeah, her, yeah, bro. Know? Yeah. So I, I pulled her off of me, and it took, like, a couple of tries because I didn't want to be, like, too rough. And I went out of the room, and that was, like, the end of it. The next morning... She doing too much. I'm so sorry. 
for doing that. That was I, I don't know what went through my head. I had to clarify again that I didn't like her that way. We were just friends. She said sorry. That was it. After that, these type of things kept happening. She would do something, and I would forgive her, and she said it wouldn't happen again, and we would go on and make fun videos. Yeah. After all those type of things kept on happening, the Hawaii incident happened where I was passed out unconscious almost like the whole night. She got on top of me, took advantage of me, groped me. I'm, I'm, I'm so, so glad. glad they and I'm not going to lie you guys, bro. I'm not a big person. I'm drinking, bro. You hear what he's saying? You guys, stop drinking. You can have fun without drinking, bro. And if you do drink, bro, get one little, one little sip or something, man. Why you gotta go all crazy, man, and let's get fucked up? Like some euphoria shit, bro. Just vibe out. They're off me, and honestly, I'm glad that they have evidence. After Shanna found out about the video, she said sorry. She said if this got out, she would be done. That is horrible, and she's working on boundaries, and she was seeking therapy. Um, and shortly after, there was a party. I was taking pictures with a couple other girls. We took a picture. Sienna came in, started screaming at me, got mad at the girls, told me to come to her room to talk to me. She started screaming. All right, now she can't be doing all that. First of all. Jay, I feel bad for you, dog. I, I, I real do, real deal do, bro. Jack, I feel bad for you, bro. Cause first of all, Sienna, that's not even your man. That's not your man. The friends already told you that he don't want you. You see him with, you see him with a couple other girls. He probably wasn't even trying to get with them. First off, even if he was, that's not, that's not your man. You gonna yell at the man, bro? Clearly told you already what he said in the video that it's just some chill shit, some friends. We yeah, me and I cloud with you do some videos. We can do some videos together. Is that what you want to do? But damn, you got a problem. Yeah, man. And it was like, you know, there's no reason for you to be mad when you're getting with other guys in LA. I can't Thank just you. take a simple picture with a couple girls. That's when she pulled me in and grabbed me and tried to make out with me. And I got pissed and told her to leave. I want to stay at the party and she kind of had already been yelling at every single person in the party. That's the thing with these females too, bro. That's the thing with these females too, man. I try to put on a lot of dudes, man, and tell them how it is as well, bro. Bro, females think that they can do whatever they want to do. And a nigga won't know nothing about it. Nobody won't. All right. I ain't going to say too much because, you know, this is YouTube. But, bro, we know what you're doing. We all know what you're doing. And you think he ain't going to do Bro, he, first of all, he, he don't want you, you know, first of all. You doing your thing and pop, 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 all these other dudes. And you know, you know. And then you think you just come back and just try to low-key low cuff, cuff my dog Jack? That ain't happening. My dog Jack don't want you. You don't know you, Jack, but you seem like a cool dude, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I would have been like, man, get off my dog Jack, bro. What's wrong with you, man? Get off my dog. Like, damn, bro, this crazy, bro. She's trying to run my dog. So the two friends wanted to take her home, and while the car was moving, she jumped out of the car, rolled, and said, I have to get back to Jack. So I ran back to the house, and I was, like, hiding from her, and I was just waiting for her parents to finally pick her up. Looking back now, I don't know why I stayed friends with her, stayed around her. So I just be a nice, she bro. She was going to change for some reason. I feel like yeah, she, nice. she'd say she has so much love for me and that she truly cared for me. And then the next night she would do something like that. She knew I had those boundaries. So when I was at my most like vulnerable state, like when I was arguing, getting, getting heated, or when I was asleep or passed out, that's when she would take advantage of me because she yeah. knew I was at my most vulnerable state. 
when I'm awake, I hated it. I hated that touch. I hated any intimacy with her because I knew we were just friends. I didn't want that from her. And especially with like the past couple of things she did, I I didn't want nothing. To, I didn't want anything to do with that. Over the next couple yeah. of months, I was stuck in this toxic cycle. I was stuck with her crying to all my friends, saying that I didn't like her back and why don't I like her back? And she would get mad at me for not caring about her as much as she she cared about for me. But she'd also be doing these things to me. I would go see other guys in LA. Yeah. So it was like, couldn't win at all. I couldn't get out of this. She would constantly come to my house, remember my door codes. It, like, it got to the point where I was like, screaming. All right, first off, bro, you gave the girl your your codes, bro? You can't do that, bro. You, you got too comfortable with her, kind of. Gave the girl, you know, your code. I really feel like she took it as, you kind of like you kind of liked her in a way, bro. Like... You know, because you were, you know, basically hanging out with her so much, bro. But, bro, that's, that does not give her the right to do all this stuff that, you know, that she was doing to him, bro. That, that's just crazy. You were just being nice and being a friend, basically. I heard. like, get out of my house. Because I was so sick of her just, like, breaking into my house. I would wake up and see her car just sitting outside at, like, 2 in the morning. She would break into my house, and when I was sound asleep, she'd come into my room. And I'd wake up to her hand in my pants. And it was oh! like the only time it happened, too. I was so, like, used to it. I was so used to it that it, I don't know, it was, it was just, like, normal for me that, I, like, I didn't think there was such, like, a problem at all. Like, part of me wants to blame myself for being nice and sticking around after so many, so many times. But now I realize that I was stuck in this, like, manipulative cycle of her acting like she extremely cared about me and then that night she would do stuff to me and it was, it was just so normal for me. I ain't gonna lie, Jack, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Did you really do something with this girl, bro? This dude said that it felt, it just felt like normal that the girl, I guess, she, no, she used to come to this man's house, break in his house, and put her hand in his pants? I mean, I don't think he did anything. He said he didn't. Bro, this female is crazy. I, I, I got used, used to it. it. Which sucks. I feel like, like no one should have to go, to go through. through. It's weird. I, I almost felt like, like I owed, owed it to her for some reason. reason. I don't know I don't why. Know, like, I, I felt like, like she had this, like, control. Like, this, like this power, power over, over me. me. Yeah. It was all, I don't know. I was like, I was like stuck. Um, and I feel like you should never have to like worry about like falling asleep and waking up to one of your good friends like touching you, you know? I was like terrified for some reason, which you shouldn't be from like a, a, a person. One night she started ripping off my clothes, touching my crotch area. Trying to make out with me. I mean, it was just like same old, same old. Like, I'd say, Sienna, stop. Sienna, stop. Go back to the couch. Sienna, stop. So I, like, locked the door. She was trying to get in. And I literally just slept on the floor. And she finally went to bed. It's, like, very awkward the next morning. And she'll say sorry. And I'm like, Sienna, this, this happens so many times. You was being a little too nice. You do not respect boundaries. You just... So my dad was born and raised in Hawaii, so we, we planned a trip to the beach house um, my dad grew up on in Hawaii, and Sienna's family basically planned the same trip on the same dates. They left a couple days before us, and we were supposed to leave on a certain date, but I didn't want to leave because she already left to go back home, and I did not want to be at home with her, because I know she'd find a way to start hanging out with me again. So my mom got a text from Sienna's mom saying that Sienna is on a plane taxiing right now. Hearing that she was coming back, it was like, this cycle is never gonna end. It's like, it's gonna be like this forever. That's like, what the hell? Felt like she was always gonna make her way 
back towards me. She wasn't respecting my space at all. She knew I wanted my space. There's another time I went to Hawaii with a couple friends for like my trip and she kind of found a way to get on that trip. And we went to a party one day. I don't find a way she got or you let her like. I met that I was talking, talking to some girl, girl and she took me into the bathroom to talk to me, saying that she wanted to leave. She was blocking the door, so like, I couldn't just like throw her out of the way. All I had was stop, so, you know, don't do that. If I come out, she will, like scream at me in front of everyone and think that I did something. I mean, just I feel like no one believes a male, especially in like that type of situation. No, they don't. But yeah, she was on the counter, and wrapped her legs around me and sort of like, let me out of the bathroom. Yeah, it just weird stuff. That night we went home, made sure we had like different rooms to stay in. And I got in the shower and she picked the lock of my door. I made sure to lock the doors, but she picked the lock and walked in. I was in the shower. All I heard was just like the door opening. And that's when I was just done. I screamed at her, told her to get out. She started, she started crying. crying. She, she went and slept, slept in my bed. bed. And, and I went, went to my friend's trundle bed. bed. Damn! Up upstairs. Uh, and that's how like the night ended. So now we're caught up. She picking locks? Let me actually take a good old shower, man. And you picking locks? Trying to get in a shower with this dude, bro. This is straight sexual, sexual. Bro, what? So uh, when everything went public, when Macy posted this tweet, since everything was brought to social media, multiple guys came out to me and said that Sienna did similar things to them. And basically, I'll show, I'll show the text right now. I asked all of them for permission to post, crossed out all their names. We don't want her to hurt anybody else. We don't want anyone to go through that experience. At the time, it feels humiliating. You feel like you have no power, you have no, no yeah. control in the situation. You just, you feel, it's, I don't know, it's just, it's horrible. I just want to start off by saying that I didn't stay silent in the situation over these last couple months. I, I talked to my friends, my family, my parents, counselors, and I was able to process everything. I don't think I'll ever be the same person I was before Sienna, it, it, it sucks, sucks and, and there's many people, people that, that try to try take to advantage of you and yeah. get you at your most vulnerable state and and that's that's, that's not, not fair. fair. That's not fair. And it's, and it's, damn, a lot of the time it's usually like the nice the I'm not gonna lie, bro, I feel bad for bro, man. I feel bad for bro because I'm the type of person. Everybody, everybody is totally different. Everybody can't take you know stuff like that, bro. But, bro, I feel bad for bro, man. I, me personally, I I would have took it a whole different um, route. It went and it went happened to me from the jump. You already be blocked. This dude is truly a nice dude. Like I would I, like personally, I'm a DM him. You know, you know, checking on as well. I mean, everybody probably already been doing that, but I probably might not. You know, I ain't nobody. I mean, I'm K-Swag Reacts, but I ain't nobody. Only got 3.8K. But all right, man. I'm always trying to make a joke out of something, bro. But um, he was just basically being a nice dude, bro. He was being nice, bro. And, you know, she took advantage of that, bro. I used to keep people with that, like, let people, let people walk, walk all over them. them. Yeah. And that was me. Like, I let everyone just walk all over me. Yeah. No matter what. Like, I would do anything for anyone. Yeah, and, and I think, think there's one thing she gave me was, was I learned how to be more bold and um, finally say no and yeah, know no, that it was right, right to speak, speak up. up. I feel like people don't know what, what you go through, through until you're in it, and yeah, it's, it's definitely, definitely like humiliating. humiliating. Weird, awkward. I want to be that person that says it's okay. It's okay to speak out. You're not gonna be known for that. 
it's, yeah, it's well, just a little obstacle that you have to get through. It's, it's something you have to get through, and um, it sucks, but I feel like in my situation, like, I've just learned. You learn from it. I've learned so much from everything. I'm, like, I've grown so much as a person. It's insane. And as of Sienna, I don't know if she'll ever be sorry. I don't know if she'll ever learn from what she did or she'll ever admit to what she did. Um, but I just don't want her to do this to other people. If you've been through a similar situation as me, I encourage you just to speak out. Speak out to anyone. And trust, trust me, it, it helps so much. And I just want to say thank you so much for listening to me and letting me take time and breathe and process everything and i'm i'm glad i'm finally ready to tell the world my story um if you're watching right now and you've been through i'm a dm like mine i just want to say your feelings are valid your feelings are valid your opinions are valid i believe you and I want you to know, you know that, that you can, you can talk, talk to someone, someone. You, can talk you can talk to anyone, anyone. you can talk, talk to me, to uh, but, but that's how that's I want to end off, I love you, I love guys. you guys, damn bro, <sighs> it's, it's crazy, it's crazy bro, That that is crazy, um, damn man, Now let me know down below what you guys think, bro. I know this is something different, man. You know, all uh, that I usually do, you know. But just protect yourself, you guys. You know, you guys have, you know, that type of stuff that's going on, man. Be strong, bro. Be strong about it. Try not to be too nice to people, bro, but people will walk over you. I love you guys, bro, and I will see you guys in the next video, man.